Então, bom dia a todos. Good, good morning. Good morning once again. Good morning to all. So we are back here to talk a little bit about uh, English for international relations. Because, uh, you know, when we talk about English and we think, oh, English is uh, a language that uh, uh, can be used anywhere. And, uh, and now, when we in, in the past, when we talked about international relations, we talked about French, because French was the international language. But after the Second World War, uh, it shifted to uh, the center of uh, the world after Europe was completely broken, became the United States. So English became the uh, language for international communications. You see that the English, it's easier to evolve with new expressions, new words, whereas in other languages it's more difficult. So we have to understand these expressions in English. And we think, how this, does this relate? Because of course, um, you have to understand the language, but if you want to know what is happening in the world, you know, you have to know English, because you know, many things that we uh, the news, for example, that come to us, uh, they come a little bit distorted. And if you don't know English, you cannot go to the source to understand exactly what is happening in the world. So, in any uh, international relation, you have to know English as the language uh, to understand how to communicate and understand what is happening. In so, the world. just like if you want to learn philosophy, you have to learn German, and or Greek to understand theology. Nowadays, if you want to understand the world, you have to understand English. And it's uh, and then we think how trilogy is related to the uh, uh, learning of English as an international uh, tool. Well, for you to understand the world, it doesn't. It's not enough for you to understand the language because you have to know why things are happening and how they are uh, related and how does this uh, can interfere in our lives here for you to know uh, what is on the news for you to know uh, why terrorism is as it is for you to know the, the, the situation uh, that we are living in Brazil because everything that happens in the world uh, will have a consequence here and for you to know that, for you to understand uh, a radio program abroad. Now, with internet, we can listen to radio programs everywhere in the world. For you to, uh, to understand what's going to be the future in Brazil, uh, what, what is, uh, how our, our, the, what they call the new normal will be. Yeah. Uh, so for you to understand, to live today, uh, in uh, an international environment, you, uh, the English is the language for you to know. Yeah, and also, this, what, what is happening now, it's a very clear, let's say, example that whatever happens anywhere in the world, there will be consequences for each and every one of us. So Brazil is not isolated. No countries are isolated anymore. What is happening is that uh, all of these actions are combined, all of these resolutions are for everyone. 